What's up guys, Red Side HD here with more Benfica career mode for you guys today. Uh, so in the first game we are going to be simulating our first friendly match against Hadeborn. Uh I'm pretty sure they're a second Bundesliga club, correct me if I'm wrong, but actually I'm certain they're a second Bundesliga club, so um, let's see how we can do against these guys. As you can see here, we've picked up two early goals with Juracic and Ola John. Sydney also picking up an injury in the ninth minute, which isn't good. Uh, hopefully he's not injured for too long. And Malgarajo and Juracic score two more quick goals there in the 57 and oh sorry, 52nd and 56th minute. And Ola John scores in the 84th minute to give us a 5-0 win at full time. So a fantastic result there in our first friendly, showing the uh, potential that our squad has this season. So um, I'm getting pretty excited at the moment. We have a good squad. Uh, as you see there, Sydney is torn his groin and will be out for about six weeks. So that means he will be missing the first couple of games for the season, uh, which is unfortunate, but we do have replacements for him. And we sold one of our players there and also Hanover have decided to match our uh, 6.5 offer. So they will be buying our Carlos Martins for 6.5 million. Uh, now I did sell a player so that means I can bring in Leandro De Maio into the squad. Offering him 80k a week on a 4 year contract so hopefully he will accept that. And as you can see here, he did accept our contract offer, so we've signed a massive player here. The 80 rated Brazilian, he looks like a fantastic player. He's got a lot of potential and there's a lot of um, teams in real life actually wanting to sign him, sign him as well. Uh, Tottenham being the uh, front runner, I think, there to sign Leandro de Mayo. Uh, here we'll just have a look at his stats quickly. Show you what uh, he could provide for us this season in the striker position so you can see he's got decent acceleration and sprint speed but he's got 87 jumping and 84 strength uh 84 finishing 83 hitting accuracy and 80 shot power with 79 volleys he's got four star skills he's six foot two and he's only 23 years of age and he also has the power header trait so an exciting player there the brazilian striker hopefully he can score a few goals for us this season now here we have a Transfer offer for our centre-back Stefan Mitrovic on a season-long loan, which we will accept as he is not going to be a part of our squad this season. Uh, and now we are going on to our second friendly match. Uh, this one here is against Plymouth Argyle, who are an English team. I'm pretty sure they're in Division 1. They could be in Division 2, though. Uh, I'm not sure, to be honest. Uh, but straight into the game here, Simulane once again as I... Really don't enjoy playing preseason friendlies as I think they're a bit of a waste of time, uh, to be honest. So that's why I simulate them. Uh, Plymouth have taken a lead after 37 minutes. Uh, Crown Hall with the goal, but Juricic has equalised in the 56th minute. Uh, nothing else happening. No, and that is how it ends a one all draw. Uh, not the greatest result there, but at the end of the day, it is just pre-season, so I'm not going to be uh, bothered too much by that result, um, because I know the potential that our players have and what we're capable of this season. But talks are broken down between Carlos Martins and Hanover 96, so um, he will stay in our squad. But on to our last friendly match here against the Spanish club Deportivo, who play in Liga BBVA. Uh, some of their standout players are Nelson Oliveira, for those of you who know him. I think he's on loan there from, from Benfica, I think. Um, but Juricic gives us the lead after 20 minutes. So that player, our left winger Juricic, has scored in every single preseason game. So he's definitely an exciting prospect for the season. But as you can see there, Aguilar equalized for Deportivo in the 40th minute. And we're getting into the latter stages of the game here. A uh, couple more minutes, and that is how it ends. So, a win and two draws in preseason. We still haven't lost the game, so hopefully we can keep that uh, run going throughout the season and not lose many games because that is going to be the best way for us to uh, develop our squad. Now I'm putting Jao Cancelo on a season loan to Academia. Um, obviously, I'm not going to be using a player like him as... Uh, He's pretty useless to be honest, but here going into our first game of the season, uh, it's an away match, 
against this club called CD Nacional. Um, I can't pronounce all the teams in this uh, league, so I'm sorry if I pronounced the name of the team wrong and say you're from Portugal and you know how to pronounce these teams or players or anything that I pronounce wrong throughout the series. Um, feel free to leave a comment because I'm from New Zealand, so I'm trying my best. <laughs> But here in the fifth minute, Bicycle kick off the corner with Matic, um, but it's a good save. Um, into the 53rd minute now. Um, a good chance there, but Mika makes a save and another double save. Fantastic goalkeeping there by my goalkeeper, um, Mika, six foot five Portuguese. But here we make two subs, bringing on Perez and Ureta Vizquia, something like that. His name's incredibly long, so I'm going to need some practice until I get his name right but the guy I'm talking about is on the ball now cuts inside and bangs one in with his right foot I see his name Urit Aviskia Urit Aviskia I think that's how I'm going to pronounce it anyway he gives us the 1-0 lead um, good control to get inside and a fantastic finish fantastic finish sorry and that is how the game would end a 1-0 win in our first game of the season picking up three points so um, not a bad result there away from home uh, yes I was Quite pleased with that, and our centre midfielder Matic, the uh, holding of the three midfielders, uh, picks up man of the match with an 8.8 .8 rating. Uh, but that is how the episode will end, guys. So thank you for watching. Be sure to like my videos if you like it, guys. It's really important and will help my channel grow a lot. And also subscribe; it means the world to me. Uh, so yeah, be sure to leave a comment as well on how I can improve this series. Have a nice day, guys. Peace.